because Garrison lost, Kelezi lost, everybody lost, and I play some players. Not not very, very good, but I won my, all the match and it's good for me. I take more confidence. So now I play Celeste. It's very nice for me because uh, it's the first match where I have no pressure. I have nothing to lose. And uh, I try my best and we'll see later. Yeah, but sometimes it's that kind of break that really gives you the opportunity. And she has taken that opportunity here. Women's single semi-final day at the Lipton. Monica Celeste and Natalie Toziat in a moment. Back on headsets. <laughs> okay. So we're staying. Okay. It's already forty love here, by the way. Yes. Yeah. First game of the match, it has just been won by Natalie Toziat of France. Nice simple game, four straight points for Toziat, and that's important because I really feel that if there's one thing that uh, Sellers can hit on, it's Natalie's short second serve. That, to my mind, is uh, her biggest weakness going in against uh, the young Yugoslav. Monica, as we've said, plays such hardball. I um, mean, she really pounds her ground strokes. Her return of service especially is, is very, very aggressive. If there is a weakness to her game, it's the fact that she too can have a very short second serve. On her strength, Mary, also she hits the ball so early, almost earlier than anybody else in women's tennis, don't you think? Because, that's right, and because she does clip, she can find angles that most of the other women can't find. You know, she takes it early, she steps into the ball, into the court, and finds half-court angles that many other uh, players just aren't... Uh, aren't finding and it kind of keeps you on your heels when you play against her too because she hits the ball so flat and add that to those angles and you have to work when you play against her you do and the thing is what also is very intimidating about Celis is that she grunts so hard as she strikes every single ball that it seems the ball's coming even harder than it really <laughs> is well listen for her like that. And of course, Natalie Tozia will be facing that all day long. She's a ninth seed. She comes in and as, we, as we've said, she's been playing very well. She's got great feel and timing, a very natural player, good hands and good feet. Her ground strokes are basically what, what got her to this round. But again, her second serve can be very attackable. Conventional wisdom among uh, tennis coaches always said, Mary, uh, that you could play uh, singles with two hands on one side, but if you had two hands on both sides, you're a good doubles player, but you couldn't get away with it in singles, and yet she does. So. is a very, very talented player. I think what she's going to want to try to do, though, is get Sella stretching. If she can get her to one hand, of course, the shot will become more defensive. It's got to be very good, though, because if she doesn't, she'll give Monica the angle she loves. They have never played each other before. All and the winner of this match will take on Conchita Martinez of Spain, who beat Gabriela Sabatini yesterday. You know that if you are watching our telecast, or Judith Wiesner of Austria. Thirteen. 
Three in a row for Natalie Tozzi at break point. To answer my own question about uh, Monica Sellers' game, Mary, I think that uh, she gets away with being able to play with two hands on both sides because of what we had talked about, that is her, her ground strokes hit with so much authority, hit so early and hit so flat that she keeps her opponents on their heels. Got it. Love 15. You cannot get away with this if you play defensive tennis. There she was born in Yugoslavia and now living in Sarasota, Florida. 16. Is Officially, it's, uh, you should know that she is a lefty. She's sort of a lefty righty, but. Christy on of that particular forehand, Natalie Taziat. Anytime you get the wrist involved, then a shot look out because it'll fly on you. And that's what happened to her there. break point coming up. Tozia has, um, as you can see, she was born in Africa, um, lived there for the first eight years of her life. Then she moved to France. She started playing tennis at age nine. She has her own place in Central Pay. Doesn't she? She has broken, has Monica Sellis. Two games to one on serve, first set. go there, do you? She's another one of the all business players. I mean, she doesn't mess about. She gets out there, swings, and as the point is over, gets on with the next one. Some good wins last year, 1989. The best wins for Tozia. She beat Manuela Maleva and Natalia Zvereva. That's Two top tenors. She shanked a couple of forehands already today. Again, it's the combination of power and and spin on that ball from Salas. It's coming at her awfully quick. So as yet lost to, lost to Chris Everett, who got the final here last year. Chris, of course, was beaten by Sabatini. Salas holds on. We're back even. First set, two games all. Two games all. But at the Italian, uh, as 
you said, Mary, she has had some good wins. She beat Manuela Maliva there and Judith Wiesner, and she lost to Rancho Sanchez in the final. Open though Manuela Maliva turned the tables on her, beat her easily at the Flushing Meadow on the Flushing Meadow hard courts after Tosiat had beaten Kathy Rinaldi. That's how things stack up in the women's draw. Conchita Martinez, who beat Sabatini yesterday, will play Judith Wiesner today. And the match that you're watching, Monica Sellis and Tauziat of France in the other semi. That will probably go down in history as one of the players that lost to Jennifer Capriati in her debut, Virginia Slims of Florida. 6 4 6 2 in the round of 16. Again, more hard hitting. This cross court is what opened up the court for Sells because it had to be. A, uh, she got it. She got it right back. That one right there puts Tosia on the defensive, and of course now she finds the open court easily. And a break point again. 30, 40. Sellers has broken Tazyad already once, but she in turn was broken in her first serve game. serves three games to two for Monica Sellis in the semi-final of the women's singles. clouds in the sky as you see otherwise it is well a little hazy out here in South Florida in the Miami area but very pleasant in general this is Sellers serving 3-2 first set she's ahead Long. Sellers had a remarkable year in 1989 three semi-finals and two final singles singles victory in Houston though we're unseeded only her second term as a pro she beat Chris Evans Another backhand winner. That's her fifth of the match. As a matter of fact, all of her winners have come off that backhand side. Of course, she's got two hands off both sides, but on the backhand side, I, I, that's her more natural side. 
off her forehand, she, she's got her, uh, the grip wise, she's cross handed. She's, she hits as hard, but not quite as freely off her forehand. Ted Tinling of the Virginia Slims and also the chief of protocol for the Lipton tournament is a very big fan of Monica Sellis. He saw her coming a couple of years ago and really likes the way she's playing. I know he's watching from the hospital today. We hope he's feeling well. I'm sure this will cheer him up. We're all thinking about you, Ted. I'll second that. We wish you a very speedy recovery. One of the game's brightest stars for a long time. Hasn't lost a set this week. One of the best things about this game, Ted Tinman. So after dropping the first two games, sell us on a trot here, point for her fourth straight. Extra squeak, doesn't she? When she <laughs> knows she's going to hit it for a winner. Agassi used to do that. He's calmed that down just a little bit now because the rest of the players on the men's tour finally started to get to him. It was a lot of noise because sometimes he'd think what it was going to be a win and give it that extra kind of puff and uh, wouldn't always win the point. 4 2, Sellers. <laughs> Finals in eighty seven. Character Lipton, her best finish. Thirty fifteen. She waits instead of hitting it and hitting it with the uh, the overhead smash. She wait for it, let it drop, and whack the two hand to smash. Unbelievable shot. Take a look at this. Now her choice is just to get get underneath the ball, swing it, but now she just waits and hits it like a kind of a ground stroke swing. Nine winners, three times as many as her opponent today. Another break point. This will give her his third break of the set. <laughs> Monica Sellis will serve for the first set at 5 2 when we come back.
first set the French last year she beat Zina Garrison and Joanne Fall and then Manuela Maliva in the quarterfinals get the semi-final Steffi Graf beat her there but it was a tough match if you remember it 6-3 in the third set for Graf Sellers. And you wonder what's going through Tosiat's mind now. She must be thinking about trying to change things around stylistically. She's just feeding Sellers winners. Oh, that one overplayed. Sellis actually, uh, to me, uh, my eye, is a women's version of uh, an Andre Agassi or a Jim Courier as early as they hit the ball. I think uh, Celis must feel that's a flat ball. Apparently, the she umpire probably broke it. <laughs> the umpire agrees, so Marlene takes the ball out of play. Serve break in hand for Sellers. A rushed game there, though, for Monica, who wanted to close that thing down. She's just got to relax a little bit here. She plays so quickly, an awful lot like Jennifer Capriotti. Just charges through each point, gets on with it. Give me the ball is what she seems to be thinking to herself all day long. Baseball tonight on ESPN at 11 o'clock Eastern Time. That's on, uh, of course, every night, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays. Wednesdays, we have coverage of the great game, national pastime of baseball. Broken string. Tosia has asked for and has gotten first serve for the delay. Sellis at the Virginia Slims Championships the end of last year beat one of the uh, players left in the women's singles Conchita Martinez easily 6-love six 6-1 love, six before she lost a close one to Martinez 7-5 in the third
just joined us in the men's singles quarterfinal just before this match started. Stefan Edberg only just won his quarterfinal match over Jeff Plasek. Three tiebreakers. And after dropping five straight games in a row, Natalie Tosiat has a chance now to win another, draw this a lot closer than it was. Five four. game point. As you suspected, Mary, she'll jump on this sh any short serve her bread and butter play, Ellis, and it's worked a few times for her today, including that one. Deuce. Perfect. This one a bad one. What's this? She just kept pounding away, got a shorter and shorter ball, and she tracked this one very well. Set point. Big return of serve, unbelievable angle, and the first set to the number three seed, Monica Sellers. This beautiful island paradise of Key Biscayne is really something special. I suppose it's that way in all the South Florida Keys. It's uh, kind of an aqua blue. It's just beautiful. It's not very deep out there, by the way. Most of well, I mean, it is in certain parts, of course, but close inside here, it's right. people seem to be able to walk out there without much problem for miles. But it's the color of the water that is so beautiful. Sellers has won the first set in the semi final match, 6 3. She'll start out the second set. draw of the Lipton this year going to Australia, of course, and Sue Fred Stahl is talking to you today. 15, Germany, Canada, Those of you who have tuned in to watch Subaru Ski World out 
fitness is going just a little longer than we had anticipated with that first men's singles match going way over what a singles match of about three sets would normally do so hold on 30 or Break point, first game, second set. That's wide. It, it, to me, I love to watch Sellers play, Mary, but it's kind of emotionless tennis. I mean, she keeps going through the same thing. doesn't matter whether she's up 40 love or break point in the third set, whacks the ball the same way. Seems to have no nerves at all. And as soon as the point's over, bam, she's ready to get on with the next one. Deuce. Sellers has lost her first game of the second set. Welcome back. The numbers from the first set suggest that it's Sellers that's trying to dictate the play most of the time. She's making her share of winners, but her fair share of unforced errors, too. In other words, she's just she's trying to be the aggressor on every point. She's also serving an awful lot better than Natalie Tozian. But again, what what separates her, I feel, from the rest of the field is that return. And Monica understands more than anyone except Steffi Groff how important it is to attack attackable serves. And she does it better than anyone except for Steffi Groff on the women's side. 30 left. <laughs> she is the top seeded player left in the women's division. Gabriela Sabatini beaten yesterday. Zina Garrison out early. First match that she played to Julie Halal of France. Choose your time, and that's perfect. And what this does, man, when you hit a shot like this, is it, it really it, it keeps you on your heels because you know you have to track these things down all day, and then suddenly you're looking for another one, and then comes the drop shot. Next time you're at the back of the court, whacking from the baseline, and you've got to be looking for that shot as well. Great change up, very sneaky. Four seed, Manuela Maliva also out. Of course, she lost to Judith, Judith Wiesner. Manuela Maliva. Sellers breaks back. It is one game all in the second set.
nice aggression there from Tozzi. These two re seem to be returning better than their serving of all the 11 games played thus far in the match. There have been eight breaks. Now, I asked Natalie Tozia right before the match, how are you going to play Sella? She hits so hard, she returns so big. What are you going to do against her? Here's what she said. I, d I never play her, so uh, I try first to play my game and see what's happening. But uh, I think she, she didn't like the top spin. And so I tried to make some top spin in the middle and uh, try to serve well and uh, come in the net sometimes. And uh, we see what's happening. <laughs> Spoke about. She wants us to go three sets. Let's see if she does change up and try to ride the ball up a little bit higher against Sella. Well, she's not doing a, a good enough job trying to pound with her, is she? No, the problem is that topspin, I think, is probably a good idea against Sellers, but you've got to hit it pretty well. It's got to be a natural shot, otherwise, that topspin will end short. And if you hit a ball short to Sellers, then look out. Sellers leads it two games to one on serve. Second set, she won the first. The Mashta thing. The Mushta thing. What was that? <laughs> the Mushta estate, yeah. Yeah, the Mushtas. You could have done that. A salute to the Mushtas. You could have done your old uh, Island Paradise thing. I haven't beaten that one to death this year yet. You got something to drink, Brady? Time. Seven of them. Yeah, they're going to be ready to play when they come back. I think. to one set us and one set to love. love. Toziat serving, love 15, game number four. 18 winners for Celis. It's a big number in just nine, 10, and 13 games. Fifth game up now. There's that advertised changeup. Made the error after two. It's as you say, Cliffy, she's going away from her own strengths, her own flat, hard hitting strengths, to try to derail Celis. Break point. Three of them for Celis now.
Natalie Tosiad, by the way, has only held serve once in the match. That was her first serve game of it. Since then, she hasn't held. Another loopy forehand from Tosian threw an error there, but still she's in danger of getting broken for the sixth straight time. Oh, short serve. <laughs> she will wrap up there. Next weekend here on ESPN, starting next Friday at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, the 1990 Davis Cup USA versus Czechoslovakia from Prague. Mary, Fred, and I will be taking the trip over there starting early next week. And then, of course, on Saturday at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, doubles action live, and then the reverse singles at 8 o'clock Eastern Time on Sunday. That's all next weekend second round of the Davis Cup competition for this year. The USA beat Mexico in the first round. This has turned into a mugging. Team <laughs> one set, 3-1, 15 love, Celis, the number three seed. Here's the high stuff. Why, just one. She's the number one player in France, Natalie Tosia. Ranked number 16 in the world. played a singles final this year on the uh, Kraft General Foods World Tour, Wichita, Kansas. Casillas enjoying a great day, especially on serve return, is way ahead in the match. Can we just have a go down there? Let me call the rest of the match on my own. The flags are flying the International Tennis Center on Key Biscayne. This is live coverage of the Lipton for 1990 women's singles semifinal day. There has been, of course, some quarterfinal men's singles action already. The men, at least two of them anyway, are in the semifinals. Emilio Sanchez will play Edberg tomorrow. National Tennis Association tournament being run concurrently with this on the outer courts. Tim Wilkerson, who is still on the tour, is playing in it. Expected to win.
yards wide in the men's doubles here at the Lipton this year. The top seeds, Aldridge and Fisser out. Broad Dyke and Naduka Odazor, they're still in the tournament. So is Becker and Monta. Monta. And good news for the USA. Leach and Pugh still in the men's doubles competition. They'll play Sergio Casal and Emilio Sanchez next. And then they'll take their trip to Prague for the Davis Cup. Doubles, Novotna and Sukova, the top seeds are still in, so are Adams and McNeil, they're seeded too. Another break point for Sellers for her to go up by five games to one second. Set you on the first easily, 6 3. Yeah. And that netted volley keeps Monica Sellers' streak alive. She has not failed to break Toziat's serve after the first serve game that Toziat served in the match. 6 3 and 5 1. Monica Sellers serving for the match. broken in her first serve game of the match and then in the first serve game of the second set also on serve and then she turned on the afterburners and has run away with it 30 love <laughs> match point. especially with a player who can hit as hard as monica and shot for shot i think she hits harder than even than steffi Graf. it's so terrific when she throws in that drop shot the change pace is just too tough to deal with. A bit overplayed there. She kind of ran right into that forehand. Just a remarkable talent. She reminds you of absolutely no one. She's an authentic, her own star. Three in a row for Tozzi at all match points for Sellers, and we're back at Deuce. is through to the final of the Lipton for 1990. 16-year-old from Yugoslavia over Natalie Toziet, the number one player of France, easily in straight sets. And in the next round of in the final, rather, she will play either Judith Wiesner or Conchita Martinez, 6-3 and 6-1. Natalie Toziet only able to win her serve game 
once in the match and that was indeed her first serve game of the match. After that Monica Sellers took complete control of her serve and it is reflected in the score. Sellers in the final. Edberg earlier today in three sets remarkable as you can see they're all tiebreakers but I cannot tell you how close those tiebreakers were without having a lot more time to do justice to it. Let it lie with the fact that it was a very, very close match won by the top seeded player left in this championship. Tomorrow at 1 o'clock, that's 1 o'clock Eastern Time, match one of the men's single semi final, and then tomorrow night on a tape delayed basis at midnight. Up next on ESPN, the secrets of speed. Stay tuned. The Lipton International Players Championship for 1990 has been brought to you by Lipton Ice Tea.